Now on Coast TV News. Building houses higher, a reaction to constant flooding in Dewey Beach is leading to a new proposal, what it means for homeowners and the town's future. A bigger library and more books. The new Selbyville Public Library celebrates its grand opening with lots of upgrades and a fresh focus. A vending machine for Narcan. And it saves lives. Where you can find test strips and hygiene kits to fight the drug crisis. How this bold approach is making an impact in Georgetown and beyond. This is Coast TV News at 6. Farmers on Delmarva in desperate need of significant rain. Good evening. I'm Madeline Overturf. And I'm Charlie Sakaitis. Welcome to our News at 6. Despite a little rainfall, we begin tonight with the ongoing drought and farmers who say they've just never experienced anything like this. While the no rain streak ended at day 44, technically this drought is still ongoing. Coast TV News reporter Emma Aiken introduces us to two farmers who feel the effects day in and day out of this dry weather. As Jay Baxter nears the end of his soybean harvest season, the severe drought on Delmarva is on his mind. I've never experienced anything like this in, in my life. Baxter says in one way this weather is easier because they've been able to work every single day of the fall, but he can't ignore the negative effects of the dry weather. Um, obviously the soybeans are, are affected as well. Uh, they utilize the late summer rains that we a lot of times get from coastal storms and we missed a lot of those. So our yields are a little bit off there as well. And Baxter Farms grows a lot of cover crops in the wintertime. But keeping those alive in a drought means more irrigation, which equals more time and money. Baxter says farmers who grow small grains like wheat and barley are also severely affected by the drought because they can't plant the crops that they normally would be planting at this time. And the process is going to be so delayed that it could impact next summer's yields. Derek Wells is one of those wheat farmers thinking ahead to next year. He's worried about water supply. We're definitely concerned about the lack of rain for the water table to get it back up so we can have water for next year. You know, if it is anywhere close to as dry as what it is this year. So while they might be getting more work done in the present, farmers can't erase the yields they lost this season and their anxiety thinking about next season. In Sussex County, I'm Emma Aiken, Coast TV News. Let's go ahead and take a live look outside into Dover as we turn it to our first alert meteorologist, Chris Mastrobuono, who's in for Paul tonight. And Chris, this drought, it's serious business. Yeah, without question, Matty. I mean, we're kind of chipping away at it here and there with these little systems that we're getting. But uh, here's the drought monitor updated this morning. Not much has changed. Still seeing a severe drought throughout much of the peninsula. If not, we've uh, extended it through portions of the eastern shore. Extreme dr drought through uh, Jersey, where they are dealing with wildfires. There you see that rainfall deficit. Uh, well, this month we're running about an inch shy of where we should be for the year. Nearly eight inches below where we should be. And we are tracking some showers. Fire weather watch to our north. We will see some fire weather watches uh, to the north, but we will see some fire concerns as we go into the weekend here on the peninsula. Coastal flood advisories are up as well. The rain having a hard time making it on the peninsula. The air is bone dry. But eventually, some of these showers will make it into the area this evening. We'll track those on future cast and have the latest updated rainfall totals coming up. Chris, thank you. New tonight, police in Milford have arrested three teens for shooting in the Brightway Commons. Police say the shooting damaged a car and a building. Police say three teenage boys were arrested and charged with a number of things. Flooding in Dewey Beach, it's been a consistent problem. And now Coast TV News reporter Brandon Ferguson shows us that the town is trying to make a change for future homeowners. The fight against flood damage in Dewey Beach. For new houses that fall in these flooding zones on your screen, it could be one to three feet taller if town council decides to adjust its code. Robert Swanson lives in a flood zone. I've been in the neighborhood for over 25 years, and we see flooding after flooding, particularly from the bay side in Dewey Beach. So any way that the city can enforce codes or add new codes to raise things up will help the um, damage to the uh, structures. On your screen now is an example of freeboard which raises a house off of the ground. The town says FEMA suggested a one foot standard for freeboard. Now they're requesting three feet. Dewey Beach and FEMA then compromised at two feet. The town says this freeboard elevation would only apply to new construction like the one behind me. Town Commissioner Paul Bauer explains the motivation. 
So the issue is, is if you have a house and your next door neighbor buys the lot next to the house next to you and they tear it down and they build a house and all of a sudden it's two or three feet taller than yours, you're, you're like, well, town, what are you doing? You're not observing your own zoning codes. We're trying to keep up with you know, flooding and mitigate that issue as well as try to keep everybody uh, on the same playing field. This free board discussion is the seventh item in the town council meeting tomorrow, which will take place at the town hall behind me at 3 p.m. In Dewey Beach, Brandon Ferguson, Coast TV News. After about a decade of planning, hundreds gathered for the grand opening of the new Selbyville Public Library. The new library is located right next to the previous location. Along with its fresh look, this building includes sections for all ages, from adults to teens, and a dedicated section for children. The Selbyville Public Library director hopes this big upgrade will bring more people to the library. The best way to support your library is to use it. And there truly is something here for everyone. So we hope that folks will come and check it out and take a look around. The new Selbyville Public Library is open Monday through Saturday at 10 a.m. Bethany Beach police have arrested a waiter reportedly for allegedly stealing credit cards from customers. Police say when a table of five gave 26-year-old Ezekiel Narcisse their credit cards to pay a bill, he took the information from four of them. Police say he turned himself in and is facing felony charges. Scanning a QR code to access resources. That's what's happening at something called a harm reduction vending machine in Georgetown. Coast TV News reporter Zakia Jennings shows us what life-saving measures will be in the machine at the Georgetown Pallet Village for the Homeless and how easy it is to access it. Unlocking the new harm reduction vending machines at Pallet Village in Georgetown. These vending machines have been popping up all across Delmarva for months and have now made their way to Sussex County. Trish Hill, program manager for the village, feels that this is a win for the community. We're just really excited to have a machine. We're really excited to work with uh, DSAM and Brandywine in order to make sure people have the things they need in order to be safe. Kits with Narcan, which stops opioid overdoses, and drug test strips will be placed inside. Angelina Mitchell has been at the Pallet Village since June of this year and thinks the kits, especially the hygiene kits with items like deodorant, are a great idea. Sometimes it's hard to ask for help or sometimes you might just not have the money to go, like with the hygiene kits for an example. But for Hill, one thing stands out above the rest of the benefits of the vending machine. It saves lives. To receive an item, all you need to do is put in your zip code and the number of the item that you want here and pick it up right down here. And this is free of charge for anyone in the community. To find out about the other five locations in Delaware, be sure to check out CoastTVNews.com. In Georgetown, I'm Zakia Jennings, Coast TV News. This brings us right into our Coast TV poll this evening. We want to know where should vending machines with addiction resources be placed? Let's take a look at the updated results from last news hour. 27% say public parks, 56% say shelters, community centers, hospitals, and boardwalks getting a little bit of the vote there too. Now, if you haven't voted yet, you could still do that. Go to coasttv.com or use the Coast TV mobile app and we'll show you updated results on Coast TV News at 11. Paying for projects when they go over budget, the city of Rehoboth Beach is looking at spreading the cost of its new beach patrol for several years. Let's tell you why. In April, the project had to be paused after city workers hit hard soil. Then this summer, the city said they were $550,000 over budget due to all those subsurface challenges. So now, the city is looking at spending $5.5 million on the project. We spoke with someone who lives there who says he just wished the money went somewhere else. I just think there wasn't that much wrong with the old one, and I think they should have gave the lifeguards raises and instead of, you know, just spending more of our tax money. On Friday, commissioners are going to look at spreading that over that several-year period. Originally, it was proposed for just two budget cycles. The holiday season is here, the most wonderful time of the year for some, but it can be sad or even stressful for others. And that's where Draper Media's Bless Our Children campaign can help bring the Christmas spirit to everybody. 
But to do that, we need your support to make it happen. For many in our community, the holidays can bring about stress as they strive to create unforgettable moments for their cherished little ones. That's where the Bless Our Children campaign can help, but we need your support to make it happen. All the money you donate goes to local nonprofit organizations which give gifts to children this holiday season. Every penny you give helps families right here on Delmarva because WBOC covers all administrative costs. You can help local children by accepting the Shell Brothers Bless Our Children Challenge by donating at least $1,000. And as our thank you, we'll list your business name on the Shell Brothers Honor Roll in order of amount given in increments of $1,000. And you can donate by sending a check or money order to address on the screen or online at blessourchildren.org. Together, we can make the holidays this year a special one. Rough week? You can cheer up with a weekly dose of local good news from Coast TV. With personal features, fun things to do each weekend and more, sign up now for free at coasttv.com slash sign up and get your weekly dose of joy directly to your inbox on Friday. And we're just getting started this evening. Indeed, we are a fundraiser in Ocean City for a hit and run survivor. Tyler Walsh, how you can support a chilly, dry evening in Rehoboth Beach, where it is 54 degrees. We await showers this evening through the overnight, so it's going to be a chilly, damp night. We'll track the showers on future casts and have the latest over on your weekend forecast coming up. First, coming up, two different organizations, one mission, helping those in need. We have that story in just 60 seconds. Honor, respect, and trust your roof to Valor. This month, in honor of our nation's veterans, replace your roof and save 50% off all materials plus no payments till 2026 with promo code SALUTE TO SERVICE. 833-83-VALOR. A truck, when you're in business, is like a tool, especially commercial trucks. I mean, if you have the wrong tool, it's a lot harder to get that job done. We're a commercial truck provider for Chevrolet, Ram trucks, and Sprinter vans. People that are in need of those type trucks have several of them, and we're the kind of business that can manage that for you. We have our own bus center, our medium-duty truck center, so we'll have the capacity to service those type vehicles. We're truck people. Come see us, because I.G. Burton knows trucks. I.G. Burton, since 1908. You can count on us. This month, Valor Roofing honors our nation's veterans with our Salute to Service program. Replace your roof, save 50% off materials, no payments until 2026 with promo code SALUTE TO SERVICE. 833-83-VALOR. We're approaching a holiday that's all about food. Thanksgiving, but as delicious as it is for some, Others simply don't have enough to eat. Coast TV News reporter Zakia Jennings introduces us to two organizations who saw a need and met it. And as their partnership grows, in this week's Coastal Connections, she shows us, so do their donations. Stacking boxes on a cart? It's these boxes that Jen Quigley, who manages the emergency food pantry at Christian Storehouse in Millsboro, says is helping to heal her community. When we help somebody else, we get out of ourselves. And so that's what makes this place so special. So special. But serving the community can't be done alone. That's why the Indian River Land Company, a real estate agency, is hosting its third annual food drive with all donations going to the Christian Storehouse. We saw a need uh, for people in the community that were struggling with hunger and we thought what a great way to reach out to the Christian Storehouse and say what can we do to help. The donation drive began November 1st and wraps up on November 18th with the goal of having a huge donation right before Thanksgiving. The real estate agency is accepting canned goods, water and non-perishable items. Lynn says every year they strive to donate more than the previous year. My goal for this year was to fill half of our lobby here, um, and we're getting pretty darn close, and we've got a week left, so hopefully we'll meet our goal. A real estate agency and a religious organization with more in common than you might think. With the donations from the Indian River Land Company and your donations as well, those working here at the Christian Storehouse are able to pack bags just like this so they can continue to serve their community. In Millsboro, I'm Zakia Jennings, Coast. TV News. 
This morning's weather forecast, courtesy of Baths by Spicer Brothers, a Del Marva tradition for over 20 years. Welcome to the brand new Baths by Spicer Brothers showroom. Experience the future of bathroom remodeling. Baths by Spicer Brothers is Del Marva's exclusive BCI Elite dealer, offering more selections, styles, and colors, including options like the laser etched tile pattern system. Made in the USA, built for beauty and performance, our baths are durable, mold resistant, and guaranteed for life. With no money down, no interest, and no payments until 2026, you have no reason to wait. Call Bath by Spicer Brothers today because you deserve the best. Hey, Delaware. Bet Rivers and Delaware Park Casino are bringing betting on football to your phone. From props and in game betting to the spread and the money line, it's all on your phone and it's all a touchdown. Plus, right now when you sign up, you'll get a second chance bet of up to $500. So huddle up with Bet Rivers, Delaware Park Casino, and football on your phone. Download the app today. Nearly one in four students in Worcester County report drinking, and one in five students report using marijuana. Not only do these substances impair students' judgment, studies have shown they can actually increase depression and anxiety. Make the decision not to use these substances. Get involved in activities and volunteer in your community. Don't become another statistic. Don't do drugs, say no to the plug. Don't take life for granted and show you people love. Cause I used, used to be a mess, mess. always so stressed. stressed. Never, Never got, got no rest, rest. now, now I'm really blessed. blessed. Cabinet Discounters, we truly love what we do. Transforming kitchens, bathrooms, basements, any room. Creating new ways to help you achieve your vision. And all within your budget. Plus, we've got big news. We're excited to announce our new location in Frankfurt at the Banks Plaza Shopping Center. Plus, you'll get the same great quality and great price. Get inspired at our new showroom in the Banks Plaza Shopping Center in Frankfurt. Learn more at CabinetDiscounters.com. Cabinet The Race to the Top 50 sales drive continues at Preston Ford. Save up to $8,000 off MSRP on a new 2024 Ford Edge. Embrace the future with savings up to five grand off MSRP on 2024 Mustang Mach-E's. We have nearly a thousand new Fords on the lot, all priced to sell fast. But hurry in as the inventory moves fast during our Race to the Top 50 in the nation. Check out the entire selection at PrestonFord.com. And remember, cars cost less in Preston. You have to get the safety this holiday season here at Coastal Bath. I think Coastal Bath is an oh my gosh and a wow. And the sturdiness of the quality work is wonderfully safe. It's Coastal Bath's annual holiday extravaganza. Get a free safety package, receive a bench, two grab bars, and a handheld shower head with docking station. Plus no payments, no interest until 2026. Don't wait, call Coastal Bath today for your free in-home estimate. And keep your loved ones safe this holiday season. Local and family owned Coastal Bath. NBC Nightly News, weeknights at 6.30 on Coast TV. Looking live into Lewis, you can see the American flag there. Still seeing some breezy conditions at the coast. We're at 53 degrees in Lewis as we await the showers off to our west. They're having a hard time moving in, uh, doing part of that dry air. Temperature-wise, we are in the low 50s throughout much of the peninsula. We're going to fall into the 40s tonight. As I mentioned, those winds still gusting at the coast, anywhere between about 15 to 20 miles an hour. Coastal flood advisories continue through noon tomorrow. Could see up to one to two foot of inundation at the coast due in part to a high tide and a full moon does not have to do with the rain that we're expecting. Also, small craft advisories extending throughout the entire Atlantic coast of the peninsula through uh, through Saturday. And we also have that coastal flood advisory extending southward and also in the bay through Dorchester, Somerset and Wacomico counties. Now, we also do have fire watches to our north, Jersey, Philly, up through New York City. That is for Saturday. Now, we will see fire conditions, conducive fire conditions here the peninsula even though we do not have a watch as that severe drought continues you can see through jersey extreme drought there but uh, we do continue to look for those rain chances some showers beginning to work over the bay now pushing into chris field as well as uh, portions of the southern area of the peninsula now we are going to see a coastal low develop now the problem is it's not going to track to the north it's going to track to the southeast so that is going to limit our heavy rainfall potential overnight 44 with periods of shower 
showers. Otherwise, we're cloudy and chilly, especially the further north you go in the peninsula. There's future cast showing the showers roll in through the evening and through the overnight. You can see them kind of sink to the south. So we're going to clear out through the morning hours. And we will see sunshine by the afternoon. Northerly winds kick in. We're in the mid to upper 50s, and we're looking dry for football and then sunny by the start of the weekend. There's rainfall totals up to a quarter inch, maybe three, 30 tenths of an inch at the max. AM clouds, PM sunshine, northerly winds kick in. Temperatures getting into the mid to upper 50s as we head into the latter part of the afternoon. And we are looking pretty good uh, through the start of the weekend as temperatures get up into the lower 60s. As I mentioned, that fire concern because we are going to see some breezy conditions develop as well. Congratulations to Holly Oder. Odell of Pittsville, Maryland. You're the winner of our umbrella. 64 by Sunday with some late showers, and we're up to 68 by Monday with another chance of showers rolling in Thursday. Great. Thank you. Tonight, Ocean City is coming together to support local teen Tyler Walsh. Walsh was badly injured after being hit by a motorcycle, and he recently lost his mother. The Stronger and Orange fundraiser tonight from 5 to 8 at Aloft Ocean City. Right there, tickets are just $25 for adults, and all of the money goes to making Walsh's home wheelchair accessible. Delmarva Sports Network from the Wawa Studios. Good evening, sports fans. In the NFL tonight, a battle for the top spot in the NFC East as the Washington Commanders visit the Philadelphia Eagles. The Commanders and Jaden Daniels entering with a 7-3 record and hoping to bounce back after a loss to the Steelers on Sunday. The Eagles and Jalen Hurts coming in at 7-2 and, and aiming for their fifth straight win. Kickoff is at 8.15 p.m. And I air juggled with Salisbury field hockey star midfielder and two-time state champ from Pocomoke Marley McDormand ahead of SU's NCAA tournament matchup Saturday at home versus Lynchburg. Marley, what's the team's mentality going into this weekend? We are so, so, so excited. Um, you know, we've been in the spot before last year, and we didn't make it as far as we uh, wanted to. So this year, we're just ready to come out really strong and hopefully make it to the Final Four. From your perspective, why is this program able to be successful year after year as one of the top programs in the country? I would say definitely because our heart. Um, we really give it out there, and we are such like a close family. For the full story, visit DelmarvaSportsNetwork.com. That'll do it for sports. Have a great night. Welcome to the brand new Bath by Spicer Brothers showroom. Experience the future of bathroom remodeling. Bath by Spicer Brothers is Delmarva's exclusive BCI Elite dealer, offering more selections, styles, and colors, including options like the laser etched tile pattern system. Made in the USA, built for beauty and performance, our baths are durable, mold resistant, and guaranteed for life. With no money down, no interest, and no payments until 2026, you have no reason to wait. Call Bath by Spicer Brothers today because you deserve the best. This morning's weather forecast, courtesy of Baths by Spicer Brothers, a Del Marva tradition for over 20 years. Are damaged and outdated showers and tubs hurting your rental property or hotel bookings? Repair and reglaze them for less. Call Hurl's Bath Repair for a free estimate. This is my legacy. Tacoma has a dominant legacy as America's favorite small pickup for almost two decades known for reliability and capability. Now buy a Tacoma with low 2.99 APR or lease an SR5 for $2.29 a month. This is my legacy. Toyota, let's go places. Christmas is around the corner. Let Paul Davis check that deck project off your list and get a free fire pit. We'll bring the showroom to you, take measurements and give you an estimate that day. Our AZAC composite decking looks amazing, won't fade or rot, and is maintenance free with a lifetime warranty. From design to permitting and building, we're with you every step of the way. Take 20% off your deck project, get a free gas fire pit, and pay as little as $100 per month. Call today. Paul Davis Restoration and Home Remodeling. When choosing windows and doors for your home, 
At Pella, it's your choice. We manufacture maintenance-free vinyl, fiberglass, and wood-clad windows and patio doors, all with lifetime warranties. High performance, energy efficient, and loaded with options to help make your house your home. Industry-first features and benefits make living easier and increase your home's value. Visit our Experience Center or call us today to schedule your free in-home consultation where we bring the showroom to you. Feel the magic of the season as you wander your way through an immersive winter wonderland at Ocean City, Maryland's Winterfest of Lights. Let imagination flourish at Northside Park with thousands of twinkling lights and larger-than-life animated Christmas scenes. Sip hot chocolate, snap a photo with Santa, and enjoy the array of holiday exhibits under the illuminating holiday lights. Find your magic at Winterfest of Lights, an Ocean City, Maryland family tradition. Open November 21st through December 31st. Get tickets at Oceocean.com or Northside Park. WRDE First Alert Weather, brought to you by Ocean City, Maryland. It's a chilly, dry evening as we await showers working over the area through the evening and overnight. Not all that heavy, and those will pretty much end through uh, Friday morning, early Friday morning. Get your forecast at any time by always calling our first alert weather phone by Friday afternoon. We should see sunshine 58 wall to wall sunshine into Saturday as we will see some breezy conditions 63. We're up to 68 by Monday, staying pretty dry. And then we see another threat shower threat by Thursday. All right, Chris, thank you. And thanks for joining us here for Coast TV News at 6. For more news, more local weather, download our Coast TV News app. The NBC Nightly News is up next. And we're going to see you later tonight for Coast TV News at 11. Have a great evening.